Okay, where, t where did I put the landing gear when I was working on this earlier? Did I put them back here? Yeah, we'll put them... Yeah, it was definitely... Okay, we'll try it right there. See, I don't, I don't remember exactly where I put it in the design when I was working this before. I did run into one issue with this plane where one time I was practicing it and uh, I la landing it in the thing, it just fell apart on landing every time until I moved the landing gear around a little bit. I have a theory, I think, that with the, 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 the physics engine that's working in this game that you can have resonance effects where just having the, the wrong distance between the, the, the nose wheel and the, and the mains in back um, where it, it, it'll bounce, you know, it, it, it'll bounce on landing and if it'll, it'll hit like the, the wrong frequency the, the bouncing between the, the two, bouncing between all three gear. It'll break itself that way. All right, let's try it this time. I could be wrong about that. Okay, there we are, approaching 60 meters per second. Again, I don't... Just, just kind of holding the... You know, holding S down and releasing it for a little bit. Let's see if we can get it below 50... Yeah, around 40 is where I want to touch down, if I can keep it off the ground that long. There's 45. It's pulling to one side just a little bit. And... Oops, whoops. Damn it! <laughs> Yeah, that's Kerbal. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Let's move that one back a little bit, huh? Okay, here we go. Take three. <laughs> attempt, attempt three on this thing. Uh, just, I'll move, I'll move the landing gear around a little bit more. I swear, I put this thing together once. I, put, I mean, I put it together, I was practicing it a couple of times, and, and we did come find a configuration for the gear where it's nice and sturdy, you could land every time, and nothing would break. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is this is the this is one's gonna work. This is one's gonna work. I can feel it in my bones. Whenever I, I the the craft file that I'll share on the forums, I'll I'll, I'll be sure it's one that actually works. <laughs> they can land without things breaking. <laughs> I'll tweak it. <laughs> okay, here again. Here we go. 47. You can go slower, please. Even slower than that. It's 43. And there's a touchdown. Yep. See, it's got all this mass, all this inertia. It takes a while for this thing to slow down and come to a halt. You can see, look at that, look at that, how much this landing gear shakes. That's the... That's why landing is so rough on these things. Okay, okay, finally, it worked. <laughs> this is how you know it's Kerbal Space Program, is if, if you have to do multiple attempts, things keep blowing up on you. <laughs> okay, okay, that was what I wanted to, to show you, that it will land, it's easy to fly, you can land it. Uh, here's something that I wanted to show, let's take off, just throttle up, a little bit of speed, pitch back. 
This design uh, will, this is a single stage to orbit design. Let me just point this thing straight up, turn the SAS on. See the SAS wiggling the control surfaces around. I'm, uh, I think I, I already said in the in the the first the first tutorial. Yeah, I'm I'm assuming that you already have a basic familiarity with the game, so you already know how to get into orbit. You know how to control an orbit. Uh, I just want to demonstrate that this. See the the previous space plane design. Uh, remember, we got above say say about eight thousand meters, and that thing started wobbling around all over the place. It wasn't really capable. Of, of getting to orbit on its own. This one is. You can, you can just point it straight up, turn the SAS on, and and it'll be in space with no problem, no hardly any effort involved. It's even possible I've, I've done it with without using the SAS at all. It's, it's stable enough you can just control it with the keyboard. It's kind of a lot of work. It's a whole lot of button mashing. Uh, it's a whole lot easier with a joystick, but, but it it's perfectly possible to, to fly this this design up into orbit and come back down and land uh, without any SAS, without any RCS thrusters. Let's start to ease it. Pitch back some. Uh, when you're trying to launch a space plane as opposed to a rocket, I've my personal experience, I've found that it usually works best to roll, well actually just like the real life space shuttle does, roll it as so you're actually going inverted. Uh, roll it on the nav ball, put that 90 up the top of the nav ball, and whenever you're doing, you're, you're changing the, the inclination of your launch here, um, just just pitch back slightly. Small moves. It's, if if you try and put 90 over to the right or to the left, that's very difficult to control. And or if, if you try to put the, the 90 degree line at the bottom of the nav ball and try pitching forward, yeah, that works. But honestly, it's kind of, it's awkward. It's, it's more difficult than doing it this direction. Yeah, no, no RCS thrusters in this thing. So it's just, it's changing the, the, the 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 pitch the inclination uh, just with the torque forces from the uh, capsule from the cockpit part all right that's fair enough let's throttle back apoapsis up there okay yep yeah, i'm not going to do a, a whole orbit you know how to do that i what i am going to do yeah, let's thrust a little bit more i'm, I'm gonna so i can Orbit. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate a, a re-entry and landing with this thing. That that's my whole goal. So let's turn the SAS off there. Now I'm in space. Let me roll horizontal. Roll right side up. About right there. Do some more thrusting. I just want to get that. I just want to get the the arc over here to a point where I'll be coming down closer to shore, so we aren't flying over ocean for a whole long time. further inland because I know when I slow down I get to that lower atmosphere it'll steepen up. Alright, that's far enough. Shut the engine down. There it is. Don't that look cool? Yeah, this thing's got so much fuel, uh, especially uh, after after I go and I, I add the, the RCS thrusters to it. I think that this design by itself could uh, you know, take off, single stage to orbit, get all the way up to orbit. It's got enough fuel. It could make it to the moon. I bet you could land on the moon, uh, take off and come back. All, all of one design. This is the reason, see, the game isn't isn't set up 
um, to differentiate between uh, engines that work in the atmosphere and rocket engines. Well, you know, the game was never, at this stage in development, was never uh, intended to to support aircraft yet at all. Uh, that, that wasn't the plan. That's just emergent gameplay, you know. Um, so personally, whenever I'm playing, the, I'm playing the game, you know, not doing a tutorial, but just playing it for myself. I, I personally, I limit myself. I'm not allowed to use uh, uh, these the, these fuel tanks or the 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 C7 uh, space plane engine if I'm above 30 kilometers. So I, I, I pretend like it's a, some kind of high powered turbine, and not an actual rocket. All right, let's compress that time. Let's get keep things moving here. Okay. Okay. Coming down, we're going to turn the SAS off. Let's pitch down as we're approaching the atmosphere. And I'm just going to try to manually fly this thing through re-entry. I just want to keep the nose centered in the direction of travel the whole time. Up here at 50,000. Uh, technically, there's a little bit of atmosphere, but it's, uh, the plane hardly responds to it at all. You don't really start feeling any any noticeable atmosphere until you get down below 30 and really closer to, say, 20. There you can see it's starting to pick up a, it's a few. Yeah, it's starting to wobble a little bit. As the air reacts, as the, the air moves across all these wing surfaces. Yeah, there, see, no, no RCS, no SAS, just keep it centered and it's a very controllable re-entry. Let's pitch back. Okay, let's go over this direction and find a place to set down. Oops, wobbling around is getting to getting too too aggressive in the control moves there. Again, level flight, just uh, tap an S and releasing it. Tap, tap, tap. I can't possibly stress it. If, 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 you, if you get into flying airplanes in this game or other uh, flight sim type games, you really should ingest, invest in a joystick. Uh, these things are so much more controllable and so much more fun to pilot. I'm just going to continue to do this tutorial with the keyboard because I know not many people own joysticks anymore. But it, really, it's, it is so much better an experience. Now, this would be... This place to have high property values. Build a little resort over here. A bunch of hotels. You get this good beach. There's probably good surfing along here and a good sailing over there and lagoons. Good swimming and fishing. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna do some real estate speculation here. All right. Kill that time compression. be as gentle on the controls. I'm in no hurry, no hurry to set this thing down on the ground. I'm just going to slow down and wait until the airplane is done flying. Okay, here we are approaching 50 meters per second. I want it slower than that. So really, I just keep get close to the ground and try to keep more or less horizontal. Keep trying to keep level with the horizon. Now we're approaching 40 meters per second. Ooh, there's my shadow. That's useful. Drop them below 40. 
Yeah, we've burned some fuel so we're not as heavy as the previous time. Down to about 35. You can set down anytime now. There's 33. There's a good, nice, gentle landing. Oh! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's a very Kerbal landing. At this moment, it's tempting to think that maybe I need to restart this tutorial and, and, and do this over again. You know what I'm thinking? No, no, no. We're leaving it. This is Kerbal. This is the Kerbal way of flying. This is the Kerbal way to land. Um, and I'll just tell you, I've, I tinker around with it. I... I've, the, the, the secret is... We have to, have to just keep playing around with the distance between the nose wheel and the two mains in back. Uh, there, there is a magic number in there, the distance where uh, even as it's rolling over bumpy ground, it won't break in half. <laughs> I'll try to find that before I post the craft file. But anyway, yeah, okay, there's, <laughs> there's this design. It works. Um, and in and this this space plane in the next episode of the tutorial that's when i'll start putting some rcs thrusters on, on it and especially the the heavy rcs thrusters will make this into a vertical takeoff and landing design so yeah that's coming soon i'll be back later thanks for watching bye